Hey, what's going on guys? Josh Donnelly here with yet another pro theme tutorial. This one is hopefully gonna be another quick one for you guys, but this is one that I have used lately in a couple of client projects, so I thought you might find it useful as well. And that is how to apply a gradient color as a background or as an overlay to your designs. Uh, now, I have talked to the ThemeCo folks about actually incorporating this into the builder, and at some point it sounds like they may have this as part of your background color picker, but until then, this is a really good workaround and is pretty simple and just requires kind of one extra step. So let's take a look at how this is done. The first thing we're gonna do is just a simple gradient background. So we're not overlaying this on an image or anything like that. We're basically just replacing this background color with a gradient. And so what we're gonna do is go to cssgradient.io, which is what I prefer. There's tons of tools out there, but I'm gonna to link to that one in the description below for you guys. And that looks a little bit like this. And so now let's go ahead and just kind of pick a gradient that we wanna work within. Maybe we got some orange we want on one side and we can even adjust how this works here. So like, is it vertical, is it horizontal, um, et cetera. So we got a little bit of orange and now maybe we want a little bit of yellow in there or maybe let's do something drastic so you can see it. So we'll do some green in there. And then we're gonna come down here to our CSS. We have max compatibility enabled and I'm gonna go ahead and copy this to the clipboard. Now when I jump back over to Pro, what I'm gonna do is come down here to Customize or wherever you have your Customize tab. And I'm gonna jump over to our Element CSS and open this up. Now this is the Section CSS. So all we have to do for this is type in the dollar sign EL, which is how we target that section. We're gonna put in our curly brackets here. And then within those curly brackets, we will simply paste what we grabbed from CSS Gradient. And there we have it a nice simple gradient. But now let's take this a step further. Say we wanna actually have an image underneath this gradient. Well, the problem is if we go ahead and turn on an image, our gradient is overwritten. And that's because we now have this background upper layer. And so what we're gonna to do to target this with a gradient is simply come over. Once it's enabled, you do wanna make sure that you have your background image on the lower layer and then on your upper layer, you need to make sure that you set this to color but what color it's set to here in the builder is gonna be overridden so it doesn't really matter. Once that's set, I'm gonna hold down the command key on a Mac here and inspect. And you'll notice I'm looking in here, I wanna find our background. So here is our background, x-bg. Then within that, we have our background lower layer is our image. So we want the class for our upper layer, which is this guy right here. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that class and we'll close out of this. And now what we're gonna do is jump back into Customize, Edit CSS, and because this is just applying to the actual background, all we have to do is come in here, add a period in there and add our new class. And there's our upper layer. But the problem here is that when we grabbed this CSS from our CSS gradient tool, it had no transparency. So let's go ahead and just add maybe uh, 50 here for transparency, come back and copy this, jump back over to our background here, and we'll just go ahead and replace this. The only thing we're really changing here is that it now has some transparency on it. And there we have it. Hopefully you guys can kind of see the background in there. Um, and then we have this nice gradient and all we have to do is save and this is then all reflected on the front end of the website. So as always, hopefully you guys are finding good uses for the content in these videos. If you appreciate the content in these videos, don't forget to subscribe, maybe even hit that bell button because for some reason I hear that's good. And I will see you guys in the next video.